Hi, welcome to my channel, JabberTang. Today I'm going to go over uh, this interesting problem. A certain whole number less than 100 leaves the remainders 1, 2, 3, and 4 when divided respectively by 2, 3, 4, and 5. What is the whole number? I want to make it detailed. As you can see, I took the time to type and color uh, the numbers. So I'm going to go one by one in fully detailed work. Hopefully you like it. And let's get into it. If you take your time and list all the numbers from 1 to 99, because it says less than 100, and you try to analyze, after some time you notice a few things, then you go back and you organize your thoughts. And this is exactly what I'm doing for this video. Instead of going over and trying different ways of approaching the problem, I took the time and I cleaned it up for you as a YouTube video. I'm going to start with this part of the problem. It has conditions in it one by one, but they're listed as a paragraph. So let's take a look at this. A certain whole number less than 100 leaves a remainder of 1 when it's divided by 2. When you divide by 2, you get the remainder of 1. So the number can be written as 2x plus 1, which also means that it must be odd. If it's even, it will divide by 2 evenly without a remainder. So we can't take even numbers. It has to be odd. Therefore, we need to eliminate all the even numbers. That's a good progress. That's a good start. All these numbers are out of my list. So I'm only considering from now on only odd numbers. All these numbers are out. We're eliminating all the even numbers. Let's minimize this so we could have enough room to write or show you more thoughts about what's left. The left ones for me are the ones in yellow background, in the white background. Sorry. So now these are out, the blue background, and the other ones with white background are mine to consider. So we're going to go further and use the other conditions one by one. Now, as I said, when you try the problem, uh, in math, sometimes you don't want to go straightforward step by step. You need to do it your way. In other words, look at me here. I'm going for the last condition. When you divide by 5, you get the remainder of 4 instead of dividing by 3 and getting the remainder of 2. And there is a reason for that. Multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, 35, 40, and so on. But we are not interested in multiples of 5. Numbers that leaves a remainder of 4 when you divide by 5 are 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, and so on. Now, why do I have this on the slide? I just want to show you more detail because you could see them on the table with more confidence why this is true. Take a look. If I look at 15, it's a multiple of 5. If I look at 20, it's a multiple of 5. Now 16, 17, 18, 19, they're not multiples of 5. 16 is one more than 15. 16 leaves a remainder of 1 when you divide by 5. It's 3 fives and one more. 17 leaves a remainder of 2. 18 leaves a remainder of 3. And 19 leaves a remainder of 4. And now when you get to 20, it divides immediately by 5. So the maximum remainder that when you divide by 5 is usually 4. You can't have a remainder of 5, of course. So with that in mind, these are multiples of 5. And the ones right before it will leave you with the remainder of 4. Something that you could spot out and see from the table. What's interesting about these numbers with this condition right here, because I have them listed for you, 
Notice that these are multiples of 5. These are multiples of 5. The ones before these guys and the ones before these, which is these guys, they end up with a 4 or they end up with a 9. 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, 29, 34, 39, they end up with a 4 or a 9. 4, 9, 4, 9, 4, 9. And just to confirm, 39 is 5 times 7, which is 35 plus 4 more. So the number that we are looking for must be one of these numbers. The ones that they end up with a 4 or a 9. Now we are down to two columns. I need to consider these numbers and these numbers. But wait a minute. These numbers are even. They were already crossed. As you can see, all the evens are out. So this column is out because of the previous condition. With that, we are down to one column. Which one? This one here. Interesting. So we're down from 99 numbers to one column right here. A certain whole number less than 100 leaves the remainder 2 when you divide by 3. This is a third condition. When it leaves a remainder of 2 dividing by 3, that means it's not a multiple of 3. All the multiples of 3 should be out. So it can't be a multiple of 3. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. But that's from the whole list. From my list, from our list, we have 9, we have 39, we have 69, and we have 99. These numbers are out. Let's cross them out. Now we're down to 1929, 49, 59, 79, 89. To confirm that these are multiples of 3, because you don't see the whole picture from that table, 9 is a multiple of 3, 39 is a multiple of 3, 69 is a multiple of 3, and 99 is a multiple of 3. Now here's another way to find these numbers. If you want to test a number like 59 or 723 if it divides by 3 without a calculator here's a rule it's called divisibility by 3 rule if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3 let's take a look 9 is divisible by 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 i mean it's obvious let's look at 39 the sum of the digits the sum of the digits 3 plus 9 is 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 69 6 plus 9 is 15 and 15 is divisible by 3 99 9 plus 9 is 18 and 18 is divisible by 3 just to confirm that these numbers are divisible by 3 multiples of 3 and we need them out because they are out of my conditions that we have this is the general picture. All these numbers highlighted with the blue background are multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, all the way up to 99. But we are here. You know that, right? That's these numbers. This column is this column. And 9, 39, 69, and 99 are out. So... That's just like saying what I just mentioned. Let's uh, let me give you another uh, concept. Since I have the table, let's look at the numbers 27, 28, 29, and 30. That's these numbers. 27 is a multiple of 3. 30 is a multiple of 3. So the way you see it right here, 28 is one more than 27, so it will leave you a remainder of 1. 29 is 2 more than 27, so it's going to leave you a remainder of 2 when you divide by 3. And this is exactly what I'm trying to show you. 27 and 30 are divisible by 3. 28 is 1 more, so it leaves you a remainder of 1. 
So 28 is out. I know, but it's not on my list. I just want to give you an idea. 28 should be out, but look at 29. 29 should be in. It leaves you a reminder of two. It's one less than 30 but going backwards. So 29 is in. 29 is in. All right. Testing these numbers that we have. 19, 29, 49, 59, 79, 89. We have 19, 49, and 79 out. We have 19. It's one more. Leaves the remainder of one. We have 49. It's one more than 48. It leaves your remainder of one. And on the calculator, when you divide by three, uh, you're going to get 0 0.33 repeating. That's the one third, which is a remainder of one. So 79 is also out. 79 is out. So let's cross them. These numbers are out. Now we're down to three numbers. Out of this 99 numbers, we're down to three numbers. Those numbers are 29, 59, and 89. Let me show you, show you them on the left column. These are the numbers that we need to discuss now. But we have one more condition that we did not discuss, which is divisibility by 4, leaving the remainder 3. We know that 29, 59, and 89 are n. The green ones are multiples of 4. I'm using green. 16 is divisible by 4. 20 is divisible by 4. 17 is one more than 16, so it leaves you a remainder of 1. 18 leaves you a remainder of 2. 19 leaves you a remainder of 3, and so on. Keep that in mind. So if you have this picture, I know that 19 leaves you a remainder of 3, but because of the other conditions, 19 is out. So you can see from here which ones follow, but I'm going to take the time and just focus on these numbers. Let's look at 29. 29 is 1 more than 28. So 28 is a multiple of 4, and 29 is 1 more. So it's going to leave you a remainder of 1. 29 is 28 plus 1. Leaves you a remainder of 1. So it's not part of the condition. 29 is out. Cross it. 89. 89 is 1 more than 88. It gives you a remainder of 1. We want remainders of 3, so it's out. Now we have a winner. 59 is our answer, but we need to support that. So the number left for us out of these three numbers, 29, 59, and 89 is 59. Let's double check. 59 is 29 times 2 plus 1. So when you divide by 2, you get 29 and a remainder of 1. It's 58 plus 1, and you could double check. 59, when you divide by 3, it gives you a remainder of 2. 59, when you divide by 4, you get 14 4s and a remainder of 3. 59, when you divide by 5, it gives you a remainder of 4. So the answer to this question, a certain number less than 100, leaves the remainder 1. When you divide by 2, leaves a remainder of 2 when you divide by 3, leaves you a remainder of 3 when you divide by 4, and leaves you a remainder of 4 when you divide by 5 is 59. And that should do it. Hopefully that was good. And if you like this video, hit the like button, consider subscribing to see more of this. I started my YouTube channel like four months ago. And I'm uh, doing a lot of videos, lecture videos with examples for my classes. And I teach three places. And between classes, to the best that I can, if my time permits, I'm adding more of these type of interesting problems. But those interesting problems, I take more time doing it because I think they're going to last for good. They're not meant for uh, one day or two days. 
I want them perfect to the best that I can. As you can see, it takes a lot of time to prepare them, but I think it's worth it. Well, if you are up to this minute, thank you for staying with me and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.